Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time here. Today I'm going to be sharing my TBR for the month of March. <laughs> Now these books include some rollover from last month and my choices for middle grade March which if you're not familiar is a read along being hosted this month by Katie from Life Between Words and Krista from Books and Jams and I will link to their announcement videos in the description box down below. If you are only interested in my middle grade March TBR then I'll put a timestamp here so that you can skip ahead and look at those books but I am pretty proud of the way that my TBR went in February. As I've said countless times, I'm definitely something of a mood reader, but this year I'm trying to be really intentional about the books that I read. I want to read more of the books that I already own, but also a lot of my books are still in storage, which makes it very difficult for me to access the whole of my TBR uh, bookshelf. So I'm just trying to be a bit more thoughtful and intentional about the books that I'm reading. And I have only a couple that rolled over from last month. So the first one is Kristen Hanna's Firefly Lane. And I literally have about not even a hundred pages left, I don't think about 50 pages left of this. I'm not gonna talk too much about it now, but I'm definitely gonna get this one finished today, I think. And then I started reading Fragile Lives by Professor Stephen Westerby, and I am a couple of chapters into this, but this is a non-fiction, and it's quite a graphic non-fiction, so I'm trying to kind of read it very, very slowly. I'm not even sure if I'll manage to finish this in March. I'm just taking it a chapter at a time um, and trying not to be too grossed out by the contents of it. So this is another one that I'm hopefully gonna get finished in March, uh, but I'm just taking it very steady. And then the final book that I had on my TBR for last month, which I didn't get to, but I definitely want to read this month, is Magic Study by Maria V. Schneider. This is the second book in her Chronicles of Ixia series. I read the first one at the tail end of last year, absolutely loved it, and so I'm really, really keen to pick this one up and continue on with the story. Then we have the Bookish Mamas Book Club book for March, that's a real mouthful to say, and that is How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. This is a contemporary about our protagonist Tom who has been alive for centuries, so he has lived through all kinds of eras and he basically has one instruction which is not to fall in love and I'm guessing that in this book he does. So this is one that I will definitely be reading in March because we discuss it at the end of the month. So definitely one that I'm looking forward to. Again I've heard good things but I've also heard some mixed things about it and I've never read a Matt Haig book before so I'm interested to see what I think about this one. And then if I get through all of those and my middle grade March choices, then I'm probably going to want a quite quick read. So I've just picked up A Lie With Me by Sabine Durant. This is a book that I've had on my shelf for quite a while. It's a psychological thriller, but a friend of mine recently read it and absolutely raved about it. She said it was a complete page turner. It was really addictive to read um, and she highly recommended it. So I'm even not reading the very scant blurb on the back because I want to go into it as blind as possible. As I've said, it's a thriller. I believe that it's very twisty and spine tingly and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Okay, then on to my choices for middle grade March. Katie and Krista set a number of challenges and I've tried to pick books that fit with those challenges, as well as just picking up a couple of middle grade books that I've really wanted to read for a long time. So my first choice, which I think I will already have listened to and finished by the time this video goes live, is Gangster Granny by David Walliams. I am downloading this on Audible because I'm going with the kids down to my parents and that's a five hour drive in total. So we should have enough time to listen to it. And this is a book that the kids have wanted to listen to for or read for the longest time. David Walliams is a UK comedian and he's written a number of kids books. I think Meg has read a few, including the world's worst children. But this is basically a middle grade book about an 11 year old boy who every Friday night has to go to stay with his granny and she smells of cabbage and she's old and she makes him play Scrabble and he hates going. And then one day he discovers that his granny has a secret past and that maybe she led a little bit more of an exciting life than he first thought. So 
It's narrated by David Walliams and I'm really, really looking forward to listening to it. Okay, so that was just one that I really wanted to listen to. Now onto the challenges. So the first challenge is to read an award-winning book. And for this, I've picked the book that Krista and Katie are going to be reading as well and then talking about at the end of the month. And that is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is the winner of the Newbury Medal 2017. So this is a book about a witch who lives in a forest and rescues children who are left in the forest as a sacrifice and rehomes them with families on the other side of the forest and then one year um, a baby is left and the witch accidentally feeds that child moonlight instead of starlight thereby giving that child magical abilities and on that child's 13th birthday something begins to happen and that's basically all I know and I'm very very excited to read this I've heard lots of good things about it so yeah it sounds like a very whimsical and magical children's story which I'm really looking forward to reading then I've got a book that I'm going to use for two of the challenges so challenge two Two is to read a book to movie adaptation and channel four is to read a childhood favorite so I'm going with Black Beauty by Anna Sewell for this I haven't read this in the longest time and it's really short it's really quick it's an absolute classic and it's a story that I loved as a child and I loved the original movie for it as well so I'm really looking forward to reading this and then going ahead and watching the film as well if you're not familiar with the story it's about a horse called Black Beauty and you literally follow the horse's life from his first days as a young colt living a carefree life with his mother to having to pull cabs in smoky um, London and then right through to his retirement at the end and if I remember rightly it's a little bit of a weeper uh, but one as I said that I haven't read for a very long time so I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Then challenge three is to read a childhood classic and for this I have picked Five Children and It by E. Nesbitt and this is one that I'm looking forward to reading with Meg and and Eli. It's a book about five children who discover a sand creature or sand fairy called It and the sand fairy can grant them wishes so each of the children pick something and discover that perhaps what they've wished for has certain consequences that they didn't quite expect. Again it's a book that I read when I was a child and I haven't read it since but I have such nostalgic memories about this story and I think actually it was also turned into either a movie or a TV series but anyway I'm really looking forward to reading this one and I don't think that Meg and Eli will ever have read it so I'm quite excited to introduce them to this as well. Then the final challenge is to read a diverse book and for this I have picked Inside Out and Back Again by an author whose name I'm not even going to attempt because I am going to butcher it so if you can see it there I think it's Sana Live, but I don't want to say that but again this is a National Book Award winner, this was a Newbury on a book um, it's told in quite a unique concept in that it's told in the form of a verse and it's about a young girl who's forced to flee from Saigon with her family at the outbreak of the Vietnam War and I believe that they go to America but as I said it's told in the form of verse which is a concept or a style of writing I'm not massively familiar with so I'm excited not only to read this book but also to read it written in a different style as well and I'm hoping that because of the way that it's written it will be a really quick read but another one that I really hope that I get to this month and then after all of those books if I have any time at all left to read anything else that I really want to pick up Nevermore The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend this is a book that I came across on Molly's channel and although the British cover is not half as nice as the US cover. I was completely intrigued. It's about a young girl who is destined to die on her 11th birthday but on the eve of her birthday she is whisked away to a magical land and invited to join a magical society but before she can do that she has to complete certain trials and it just sounds fantastic. Molly Wax is absolutely lyrical about this book and again it's one that I'm quite keen to read with the kids but I might read it first and then perhaps read it to them but I have no idea if I'm going to have time to get to it but now that I own it I am very very excited to read it. So there you go they are the books that I want to read in the month of March. I am aware that I have set myself a huge challenge and although March is a fairly long month I am not sure that I'm going to get to them all but I am definitely going to give it my best shot. As always do let me know what you are planning to read in the month of March. 
thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you all soon.